Hi everyone, so time for another video. Uh, in this video, I'm going to demonstrate what intra VLAN blocking is on 40 gate and 40 switches. Um, I have a 60E and uh, a 548D 40 switch uh, here at home. Um, and the, the analogy or the environment that I would use to describe where this is useful um, is have you ever gone to a whole tab, opened up your laptop, got assigned an IP address via DHCP, and then we're all savvy enough to want to be a little bit intrigued into what else we can see. So you you fire up Nmap and you, you start you start scanning scanning the uh, scanning the subnet, and you'll find that in nine times out of uh, ten environments in in a hotel, you're able to see lots of the other hosts that are inside the, inside the same network. Presumably inside the same VLAN connected to a switch stack. Okay, so this is where intra VLAN blocking comes in because when you enable this feature, devices that are inside the same VLAN, let's say uh, my two machines here are inside VLAN 10. The first device is connected to port 37, that's an NVIDIA Jetson Nano, and the second device is connected to port 38, and that's my MacBook Pro. Okay, so by default, uh, if we try to ping between the two devices, um, the ping will natively just happen inside the switch layer, switching layer itself. It shouldn't touch the gate. So let's verify that first. So the screen um, on the left hand side is MacBook Pro, and the screen on the right is the NVIDIA Jetson Nano, which is running uh, uh, Linux. So you can see that the, the device on the left has got an IP address of 10, 100, 100, 2. And the device on the right has got an address of 10, 100, 100, 3. And you will be able to see that they can indeed ping each other. No problem at all. So if I go back over to the 40 gate firewall and then go into 40 switch VLANs, you'll see that they've already been assigned this native VLAN called intra VLAN block. Okay. These two devices are the only devices that are in that VLAN at the moment. If I go to 40 switch VLAN, make sure that I'm connected up to the right 40 switch because I've got several here. And then you will see that you've got the intra VLAN block. VLAN 10, and then this is acting as the way free interface, so 10, 100, 101, slash 24. Go into there, scroll down. There's an option here for block intra VLAN traffic. Enable that, click OK. Give it a couple of seconds. Go back to the apply it, go back to the appliance. Try to ping between them. Magic. The devices cannot communicate with each other anymore. Um, this is also extremely useful in an operational technology environment where you don't want programmable logic controllers, for example, to be able to communicate with each other, or you want to control what's happening between programmable logic controllers or HMI interfaces. Maybe you want to apply an application control, that kind of thing. Uh, very, very popular. Uh, at the moment. So the question that you might ask is, well, if I want to actually allow the devices to communicate or allow some devices to communicate, but not all by default, don't, because at the moment they'll be hitting an implicit deny policy, how would I do that? So if you go to the 40 gate firewall and then you go to firewall policy, I'll just drop all these down, create a new one. So the incoming interface is going to be this intra VLAN block. The outgoing is going to be the same. I'm just going to do for the purposes of this video, I'm just going to do all, all, any, any service, all. Of course, there's no NAT between them, but we're simply going to allow that communication. Now, apply that. We might need to apply a proxy app policy as well, but let's see. Um, go back to the group and can they ping each other? And they cannot. So what we need to do now is we need to now allow a proxy policy. So we would now do that. 
Okay, so what we need to do now is we need to finish off the proxy art configuration. As you can see, there's no proxy art config at all between the appliances, and the appliances still cannot communicate with each other by default. So if we go over to the configuration and prop, prop this proxy art config in, if I do um, show system proxy art, now you see that it's in there. And I go back to the machines, and they should be able to communicate with each other. And as you can see, the proxy art has kicked in, and now the two appliances can communicate with each other. And just to uh, finalize this video, if I then go back to pol firewall policies, find the intra VLAN communication, and disable the policy these appliances should stop being able to communicate with each other. And as you can see, the appliances can no longer communicate with each other anymore. And that's the end of the video. So it, an extremely useful uh, option, uh, massively used in operational technology environments, massively used in hotel, environments where you simply want clients to be able to connect up to a network but not be able to speak to each other or at least have some limitations to be able to speak to each other. It's much more secure, stops lateral movement, stops ransomware spread, that kind of thing. So I can see this be as a feature that's going to be widely adapted. Um, as always, thanks so much for your time. If you like this video, please hit the like button. Drop a comment in the below and around what, feet, uh, what content you would like to see, um, and we'll see you in the next video.